In this video we will move Wingate to a new server. This is a simple process that involves exporting the configuration from the existing server, importing it into the new server, and moving the license. The first step is to install the identical version of Wingate on the new server as is running on the existing server. Find the version by clicking on the cubic icon in the upper left of the Wingate console and choosing About Wingate Administrator. So my version is 9.2.0. That is the currently available version, so I could download a new installation file from the website at wingate.com or I can look in my Wingate update folder to find a copy of the same file there. There it is. I'll just copy that across to my new server. For this video, I have created a test web access rule and a test web proxy to demonstrate that the configuration was imported into the new server. Now I need to export my Wingate configuration. I will do this with the Wingate configuration utility, which can be found in the utilities folder in the Wingate directory. Clicking the export button prompts me to select a download location and choose a file name and then allows me to stop the Wingate engine. We recommend that the engine is stopped before the export process begins. Upon completion of the export process, the wingate.config file is saved to your location and a dialog appears showing a record of the export. Now I need to copy that file to my new Wingate server as well. On the new server, I'll quickly install version 9.2.0, and for a detailed installation video, please see our YouTube channel. With the installation complete, I can import my configuration file. I'll use the Wingate configuration utility on the new server to do that. The import is finished and again there is a dialog that shows a record of the import. After starting the Wingate engine I can log in and activate a license. I can't activate my purchased license on the new computer as a license can only be activated on one machine at a time. Therefore I'm going to activate a 30 day free trial while I get the new server ready. And with the trial activated I can see my test web access rule and the test proxy that I created on the original machine. The last step is to move the license across. On the original server, I'll copy the key to the clipboard and then deactivate the license. And now the license is ready for activation on a different machine. So on the new machine, I'll add a license and paste in the license key. And now the new server is activated and I've moved my configuration to the new machine. If the new server will have a different IP address to the original server, the LAN clients may need to have their proxy server settings updated. Likewise for any WPAD file references. As always, if you have any questions, please contact us on support at wingate.com or visit our website for more information. Thanks for watching.